So I'm Rosemary Sinclair for uh, the people that I may not have met uh, so far, but we've got time to do that over the next day and a half. And I'm the CEO of Energy Consumers Australia. And I'd like to say good morning and welcome you all to our foresighting forum for 2017. Um, first of all, I'd really like to acknowledge the Gadigal people of the Aora Nation, the traditional custodians of the land on which we meet today, and pay my respects to their elders, past and present. As you will have already seen from the chatting this morning, we have people from all parts of the energy sector, consumer groups, ombudsmen, retailers, networks, gen tailors, regulators and policy makers. I'd like to make special mention of our ECA board members, our Chair Louise Sylvan, Steve Graham and Claire Petrie. And Kathy Cooper and Virginia Hickey are here with us in spirit, if not in person, and they are both our directors from South Australia. We come to the forum this year already in the middle of a profoundly important conversation about change in the energy sector. In part, driven by consumers expressing and exercising their preferences for different forms of energy production, and now in part driven by newer technologies which enable much more local participation. So the question really before us is how do we design and deliver on NEM 2.0? COAG Energy Council in their communique of August 2016 put it this way, there is a need to respond to this paradigm shift in energy markets and respond in a way that maintains the confidence of energy consumers and investors in our energy markets, which must be reliable, affordable and sustainable. Business as usual is not an option. Minister Frydenberg will shortly give us an updated view from the COAG Energy Council table of the forward agenda and the Council's priorities, one of which is the Finkel Review, a task to deliver a national blueprint for energy, energy which is secure, affordable and moving to lower emissions. Chloe Munro, a member of the review team, will update us on these discussions tomorrow. Today, we'll spend our time talking about transforming markets markets in which consumers redefine the boundaries or the products or the activities. What does it mean for consumers, for businesses, to be really focused on customer service? What can enabling platforms such as the internet, such as energy, do for lives and businesses? Keeping track of what consumers are thinking and doing is critical, and we'll share our research on this with you. Consumers are also saying to us, make sure no one is left behind. This is now not just a low income issue, it's also a competitiveness issue for business. ECA grants program research will shine a light on this research. We'll take you through our shared work on choice, often misunderstood as a simple policy lever of switching. Is it choice or outcomes we should be focused on? And we'll bring you insights from the OECD's work with other governments and other sectors in designing contemporary approaches to consumer policy using new methods with start, which start with consumer experiences and experiments and use a range of tools from competitive market design to specific consumer protection initiatives. We'll discuss these ideas in the Australian context, where the iron law of economics applies. So much distance, so few people, increasing private and overseas investment. Tomorrow, our focus will be on the changing market, the increased speed in policy development and the need for a collaborative approach in developing responses. We'll hear from consumer behaviour experts and CEOs in the sector driving change in their own organisations 
and the sector as a whole through these experiences. And we'll finish with an opportunity to reflect and commit to our own role in playing a constructive part in managing this transition. And that's the shared task we all have. ECA held our first foresighting forum in February 2016, when we were just one year old, barely, and not even fully staffed. Twelve months down the track, we're back to continue the conversations we started then, but much improved, we hope, through the constructive feedback and support that you provided us during 2016. This is a sector-wide forum focused squarely on the needs of all Australian residential and small business consumers, where we have a conversation with all parts of the energy sector on the wicked problems, the ones resistant to change, the ones where the answers aren't easy, and where collaboration, with all its complexity, initial confusion about motives and processes, and the need for commitment to see it through, past the rough patches of uncertainty and integration to solutions, that's the only way to do this work. And the work, of course, really starts when we leave the forum, with the conversations continuing through 2017. I hope you find the two days inspiring and energising. We have much to do together on behalf of energy consumers in Australia.